Hey fellow YouTubers and tech fans, welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow, where today we're gonna to be talking about mobile phones. That's right, not video cards. I don't know what's up, but I would have thought this last AMD launch, you guys would have been a lot more excited, but it seems to be kind of a ho-hum launch. People took it okay. But I know all you guys love mobile phone technology. So I got a chance to upgrade my phone to go from the Note 2 to the new Galaxy Note 3. I got that back behind me, and I've also got this cool little thing right here called the Galaxy Gear. Now, this thing is gonna be really cool. The one I got actually kind of looks like a Dick Tracy watch. You guys will see that in the unboxing. And honestly, since I was a little kid, I've been talking about this. My mom even said it. Like when I got this, she was like, oh wow, that's really cool. Just like Dick Tracy when I was a little kid. I think even back in the early 1900s, people were talking into a watch-like device. Now I've got one. So instead of bullshitting around, let's just jump in and let's see what comes inside the box and talk about the technology between these two products. Let's go. So, all right, my friendlies, here we have before us the two boxes for the Verizon Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and the Samsung Galaxy Gear. Now, right off the bat, I want to make it very clear this is very pricey stuff. And right now, this has very limited connectivity. It only connects with this and a couple other products. Now, they're promising an update in the future to work with more stuff, but for now, it's very limited. Now, with that said, though, that's pretty much the negative. Let's jump in and see all the really good things, though. So, here's the box. I'm going to go ahead and just push this thing out of here. It's nice and simple. Then we got a box inside of a box again. So I'll go ahead and pop the cap here. We'll start off popping out the phone. Now, right off the bat, you guys can see this thing has a beautiful screen. Let me turn it the right side up. 5.7 Super AMOLED Gorilla 3 touchscreen. Now this thing's going to be very bright. It actually comes in at 1080p. Now there's a 13 megapixel rear camera and a two megapixel front camera. And this thing shoots in both 1080p and 4K. Pretty amazing stuff. Flip it around in the back. And also folks, while we're at this angle, a lot of you folks before complained about this being plastic. Well, now it's pleather. That's right, faux leather. And it actually feels pretty nice. It feels a lot more quality than the old stuff did. Now, you have a 3200 milliamp hour battery in this thing, and it's supposed to last for a full 24 hours between charging and 21 days in standby mode. Pretty incredible stuff. Here's one of the controls on the side. Now you can see these controls are almost clear and inside of the phone itself. It's just so ultimately sleek. Flip here to the top. Here you have more connectivity. Flip it on the other side. More buttons. You guys can see you can really barely even see the buttons. And I apologize for shaking. A lot of you guys ask, why do I shake? Well, I have really bad diabetes and I had nerve damage from my operation. So I do shake a bit. So I'd appreciate it. You know, if you don't make fun of me, if you want to comment, it's cool. But uh, making fun of me kind of hurts my feelings a bit there, folks. But check this out. It's thin. It's very, very light. Weighs six ounces. It's also about six inches by three inches by a quarter inch. The exact specs of that will all be on the website. I know you folks who are totally into technology are gonna go check that out. I'm just like basically showing you the unboxing. The S Pen has also been improved upon. You guys can see that right here. There's actually a better tip on it now. So hopefully when you're using it, it's gonna be a lot more accurate and stuff. I never really used the last one that much, but with the improved stuff, I'm hoping to use this one. And if it's more user-friendly, I'll definitely be down with that. Also down here, folks, this actually looks different than your standard phone connection. This is actually a USB 3, but it's actually backwards compatible as well. So you'll have no problems using it with multiple devices to charge. So that's pretty much the phone and the specs of it. Has a 2.3 gigahertz quad-core processor. It's a Snapdragon 800. You have 32 gigabytes of internal storage and three gigabytes of internal RAM. So all in all, it's a pretty damn spectacular thing for being so thin. I mean, this thing's thin and it's light. I haven't put the battery in. Jonathan said it's gonna change the weight. We'll have to see when we get there. So let's go ahead and see the rest of the content. So puff pulling out here. I guess it's gonna to come to the center of the box here. Yep, all right, so here we go. I'm gonna take it out of camera range for you folks. Go ahead and pop that open. Here's all the rest of the goodies that come with the phone. I'm just gonna go ahead and set that off to the side. You get all these get to know your phone things. Get to know your phone. Familiarize con tu telefono. Product safety and warranty information. Important consumer information. Consumer information about radio frequency emissions. Oh wait, that's actually in English. All right, sorry about that. 
And then last one, the Global Support Calling Card. Dun, dun, dun. I got a pin number and everything else. So I guess if you're having trouble with your phone globally, you can call these people and get support and make sure your shit's taken care of. So we'll set that off to the side. Here we get the charging connection wire. Go ahead and just uh, pop that open there. So there we go. So like I was speaking of earlier, folks, the connection for this is USB 3.0, which you guys can see right here but it's also backwards compatible. So if you have all those old phone charts that you invested in, they'll be able to work. This will just be a little bit faster. Here you can see the blue designating USB 3.0. We'll get that out of the way. Then we have some tools. Here are some tools they gave you this time, some tools and some parts. Never see that with a phone usually, but now you get tools and parts to operate on your phone. Interesting. Then here's a little charger. You're gonna plug that into the wall and plug your little thing into it like that. I know most people know this, but there are going to be people out there going, no, I've never seen that before. So here you go. Just plug that bad boy into there. The other end of this into your phone, like so. Let's see, here we go, the nice charger. First time for everything. And so there you go. That's how things all plugged in. Plug it in your wall, begin your charging. Now, last but not least up is the battery. Dun, 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 dun. Like I said before, folks, this is a 3200 milliamp hour battery, it's supposed to have 24 hour battery life and 21 days of standby. That's pretty incredible. So that's all this stuff. Before I actually put the battery in the phone, let's take a look at the Galaxy Gear. Now I've got a mess out here in front of me. Let's clear this mess up a bit and take a look at the Galaxy Gear. So. Galaxy Gear. Now, if you folks don't know what this is, this is kind of like a wristwatch that actually works in conjunction. You can answer your phone, all that kind of stuff, all off of your wrist, just like a Dick Tracy movie when I was a kid. So, kaboom, let's pop the cap and check it out, folks. Look at the color scheme. Very Dick Tracy. Check this out. I mean, I don't really know exactly how this works, but oh yeah, that's all it is. It has this, now it's going to be too tight for me. I'll maybe have to do an adjustment on it. Because right now, this is too tight for me. You guys can see, I mean, I can't buckle the thing and it'll rip my arm off. But look at that. Dick Tracy style shiznick right on my wrist. It's even got the color scheme. Buttons right here. Let me go ahead and pull it off my wrist. Now, I really do hope this thing is adjustable. I'm pretty sure that it is. Yeah, I see over on the side, there's an adjustable band right here. So to make it longer, all I got to really do is just move this thing down. So never done that before, but let's figure it out. So yeah, see, there you go, folks. I can move it around to wherever I want. Repop it back in here. There's a little clip inside here. I'm trying to get that in there. There we go. Pops it back in, and then I can re-put the watch back on my wrist. And hopefully at this point, it won't uh, rip a nice hole in my wrist. So, there we go. Kaboom. On my wrist and good to go. Pretty interesting. Now, anything else comes in the box? Let's check it out. So this right here is actually the charging dock. Go ahead and pull that little bad boy out. Okay, so it gives instructions. Little Samsung logo, see a little plug right there. Then we've got the charging wire and little mechanism right here. Da, da, da. And that's pretty much it. That's what comes with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it back off my wrist one more time. And uh, the first time I put that thing on there, I actually kind of cut myself. Not bad, but uh, interesting. So. I don't know, man. Since I was a little kid, I've so been looking forward to having something like this. I know it's pricey and stuff like that, but I'm really looking forward to having it. So there you have it. The Galaxy Gear and the Galaxy Note 3 in all of its beauty. Now, remember, this is the Verizon version that I have. Other versions might have different content. I don't really think they will much, but they might possibly have. So we really want to make that clear. Also, the 4K ability to film. Are you guys interested in seeing that? Now, I know not many people have 4K monitors. You're not going to be able to look at that in your 1080p. But still, if you guys would like to see us make a film and do something with that, hit that like button and let us know in the comments below because we're totally down. We'll take the 4K thing, make something cool and funny for you folks to show you, and you'll get an idea of how well the camera does in 4K. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys did like this video. I can't wait to change the phone, get all my information on it and start using it daily. And then I'll get back with you guys with a full review of it. I'll probably do it in written format, which I'm better at, but we'll see how it goes. With that said, hope you guys like it. Like I said, if you're not subscribed, hit that sub button and we'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow as I actually use the phone and the Galaxy Gear.